This is the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. Thanks to 24-7 Golf for sending this out to give it a test. We're gonna do a few different episodes and some live streams on this. We're gonna build the whole simulator and the whole gamut, but for now, I'm gonna unbox this, set it up, and then we're gonna head out on the course and give it a try. Satisfying. <clears throat> that is satisfying opening that. So that's the box. That's what you get in the box. It actually comes with a three pack of Chrome Soft X golf balls. Now these balls have got the special dots on them so that the launch monitor can read the ball better off indoors. Side. That's the box. Comes with this cool little travel case, which is awesome because the MLM, I'm pretty sure, stands for Mobile Launch Monitor. So there you go. That's what it looks like in the case. Damien just said it looks like something that the dentist would use. That's, that's not, not half wrong. <laughs> this is the best part, just taking the seal off. My kids would say that's satisfying. What do they say, ASMR? That's a pretty cool looking device. We've got USB-C charge cable, which is good. It's not the old USB. Instruction manual, that seems to be it. I think this separates outwards. How does this work? To create a little tripod. Oh, look, the light turns on at the moment I touched it onto the tripod. And that sits, that's got to sit about six feet six to eight feet behind the golf ball. So it's got the, the camera in there and the little Doppler radar to measure all the, all the things. So now I'm gonna set up the app for it, download it, get it all ready to go, head out on the course, and hit some golf balls. Can't wait, let's see how it goes. Okay, we're down the range now. It is a shocking Victorian afternoon, but what do you expect in Victoria in autumn? We've got it all set up. I will say, before you start using this thing, sit down at home, get the app, and take some time to get used to it because there are things like you've got to go through and add all your clubs. And if you're like me and you've got old clubs from like um, 20 years ago, the, the irons, not types the drivers, but the irons, they won't show in your list. So I've just chose random clubs, but I'm sure there's like an other option you can use. But go through, set them all up so when you're out in the range, you can just get ready to go. So I'm going to choose range now. I'm going to choose premium balls because I've got some premium balls for us here. I'm going to go current elevation and continue. I'm going to start off with my wedge because I also want to test to see how it goes with the chipping. Not so much the long shots, but also the chipping, because apparently it works quite well with chipping. So down here, there's actually a little holder at the front for your phone. Just set our target line, we go continue. The only thing I've noticed with the holder is it's a little bit, it's not flat, perfectly flat, so the phone actually wobbles a bit. And I've also, if you've got a case for your phone, you might want to take it out of the case because it's not going to fit properly. I would recommend using an iPad on the other side because it's a nice big screen. Oh, this is the Callaway Jaws sand wedge. It's come off quite nicely. Apparently that's done 118 yards, which for me is massive. 180, no, sorry, 80 metres. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong number. Let's see a couple more of those. As I said, it's very gloomy today, so it's going to be interesting to see how well it picks the ball up in the air. That one didn't seem to pick up. There's a touch of rain around too, so it makes it hard for the launch monitor to be able to see it. Let's have a think. 75 metres. 
So this is a 54 degree sandwich. I'm not the longest hitter of the sandwich. So that was a heavy one. I'm interested to see if that, how much that took off the distance. Yeah, 71 meters. So that's dropped back quite a bit from the, the first couple of shots. I'll hit one more of these. That's a terrible shot. Let's see if it picks up a shank. It's thinking about it. Apparently it's gone 87 meters. That was a hell of a shank and that has not gone 87 meters. So that was a bit of a miss hit. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a lot on the ground. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Damien Conley to go out towards the 100 meter sign. Hit a few shots, see how far this tells me it's gone. And then I'm going to use my range finder to see how close it is to being accurate. Awful That's gone 78.7 according to the rangefinder. Uh, sorry, according to the MLM. And the rangefinder says 74 meters. So that one's a little more. So 77.8 metres according to the wrap Soto. And Damien is 74 metres away. So it's pretty damn close. Now I'm going to do a couple of little pitches and see how it goes with a shorter distance shot. That's a baby swing. To my eyes, got about 30 metres. And according to the wrap Soto, 32.5 metres, that's pretty good. Let's try a different colour ball. So that one's pushed out to the right, but probably a bit, a bit shorter than the last one, I reckon. 34.7, so very, very similar. Now I'm going to do like a really small chip and see how close we can get before it starts to not be able to recognise it. So they'd be lucky to, lucky to go 10 metres. 11.9. So it's really good at picking up the very short stuff. And it's, like I said, it's a gloomy day. So the fact that it's picking up is really, really good. Let's try a little bunt. That's a green side chip. And that one has not picked up. So I'm starting to find the limit, I think, of what the wrap side can do in terms of We'll give it another try, give it another chance. Very similar shot. Yeah, so it hasn't picked that one up. So if you're getting down towards little green side chips, you're probably not, it's not gonna work. But anything over a few, over sort of 10, 15 meters, picks it up first go. So that's pretty damn good. All right, everyone's favorite, the driver. It's got a nice little scuff mark on the top of it from where Damien gave it a smiley face yesterday. Let's see if we can bomb a few out there. Much better shot. A bit left. What did we get? 204. It's not really good. But it, like I said, it is a cold day and gloomy, so the ball won't travel as far. I've got a habit of going left today for some reason. That one's gone 214.8. Not a bad result. Ooh, found an old night golf ball. That is a terrific shot. Oh, I do like the night golf ball. That's gone 211 carry. Pretty happy with that. On the course, I mean, if we can get 220, 210, 220 on the course, I'm pretty happy most days. That's another good one. I feel like that's where I'm hitting at the moment. 206. So really great to use on the range. Some of your premium ranges will now have the top trace technology built into them. But if you're going to a range that doesn't know you're just hitting it out in the paddock, really great value. I think we get about two to three hours worth of battery life out of the wrap soda, which is really good. Because at two hours of hitting golf balls, you're gonna be exhausted. All right, we're gonna head back to the house now and we're gonna finish this review off. All right, back home in the office now. 
One thing I will say, I actually love this little carry case. It's, it's really well designed and it fits in there snug, so you don't have to worry about it falling out or getting broken. Um, like I said on the course, the, the mobile phone holder, whilst it's a great idea, it doesn't seem to hold the phone very securely, so i probably recommend going for a, an iPad. And it's gonna help you see it anyway, because the phone was quite small, and if you're out in the daylight, you, don't, you can't see the screen that well. The app, I would recommend going out and getting the app and then playing with all the settings before you head out onto the course. Set up all your clubs, get used to it because there's quite a bit to do. We, we, we went in blind, um, which was a bit of a crash course for us. Um, it doesn't work with putting from what I've been told. Our next step is going to be to set up the cage and the simulator at home. And we're going to do a whole review of the, of the Rap Soto using the simulator and the golf course 2019. So make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for that. It'll be coming soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.